Hi YouTube family, how are you doing guys? We've got this question right here. We need to find the value of X. So keep on following step by step. Let's try to find the value of X, which is right over here. All right, so looking at how the equation looks, we can write this as 81 is equal to 27 power X, okay? We add uh, 27 power X to both sides. So this is 27 power X. When it comes this side, it will be positive. 27 power x. The moment we do that, we can apply the idea of balancing the bases. Look at this. If I write this as a 3, you can see 3 power 4. 3 power 4, of course, will give me 81. Even this side, I'll write it as 3 power 3. And then this power x will come right over here. So you can see that we've got a 3 power 3, which would give us a 27. This is very, very nice. So now, the moment we reach this step, we can say 3 power 4 is equal to 3 power 3x. I hope you understand that there is a law in mathematics where you apply, uh, where you, you multiply power to power. So this is power 3 times uh, x will give us uh, 3x just like that. And the moment we see that the bases are the same, you can see this base is equal to this base, we can equate the powers. I know you are familiar with this property. So we can say 4 is equal to 3x, like that. The bases are equal to each other, meaning the powers are also equal to each other. You now divide by 3 by 3. Because we want to find the value of x, this x which is right here, we can either leave our answer like this or we can write it as a, a 1, remainder 1 over a 3. This is our answer. If you want, you can put it in a decimal point. It's okay, okay? So if you want, you can check this side. If you say uh, 3, I mean 4 divided by 3, it will give us uh, the value of x to be equal to 1.3333 and so on and so forth. Just like that. It's okay. Thank you, guys. Please remember to share this video. If you've liked what I'm doing right here, share the video and let everybody know about this. Thank you and bye-bye.